Hey guys, it's Joseph, owner, creator, and operator of the Owen 30 Mosquito Creek Lumber Company Swamp Log and Railroad. Not much going on with the layout recently. Uh, I've got another big, huge project that I'm working on, and it's kind of taking time away from uh, the hobbies. But in the meantime, I wanted to share with you a, a little scratch building project that I did a number of years ago. It was first uh, published in the Narrow Gauge Shortline Gazette magazine, and then after that uh, version of the story appeared in the Owen 30 annual. But I always get a lot of comments on this scratch-built little locomotive. You can call it a swamp critter or a, a GE 45-ton former Navy switcher. And uh, it was pretty cool to build. I, it was one of my very first scratch building projects. So uh, let me explain how I did it and you take a look at the photos while we're going through this. So my, my mantra for uh, doing the Owen 30 layout is no pressure, no prototype, no problems, just in just have fun and and uh, hopefully that's the way your model railroading is just having some fun and taking a little bit of artistic license on some things I was doing a Google search of 1940s era locomotives and this 1943 vintage uh, General Electric 45 ton offset cab diesel switcher popped up and I went yep that's it that one right there is what I'm going to use so what I did was I had an HO scale Atlas Alco S1 chassis from my HO scale layout that I was not using. It's a really nice running chassis. It's DCC equipped. Someday I want to put some sound in this locomotive and really bring it to life. Uh, so that's the foundation for my new narrow gauge locomotive. Um, because I was going to be doing a lot of trimming and cutting and I didn't want to waste expensive sheets of styrene while designing the locomotive, I uh, employed a technique that many modelers, including myself, use for structure building. It's doing uh, mock-ups using your common office file folders. I sketched out a cab and long hood and then uh, kept my O-scale ruler nearby to check dimensions of my sketches. Kind of tried to keep things reasonably within scale checking the prototype photo for guidance and since my locomotive is toiling away in the hot and humid backwater bayous of Louisiana I chose to build an open side door cab design instead of the prototypes enclosed cab I built the Owen 30 size uh, locomotive frame using sheet styrene cut to scale width and then capped the edges with I-beam stock I used a plastic weld type cement to hear the pieces together. Uh, using a standing O scale figure also helped trying to get the right dimensions for the locomotive hoods and especially the cab portion of the engine. Next I disassembled the cardboard sections after I felt that everything looked pretty good and then I laid them down on the sheet of styrene and then traced them out with a pencil and then cut them with a hobby knife and a straight edge. I built the superstructure in uh, sub-assemblies and each one that I uh, put together I would test fit and see if everything was going to clear the uh, mechanics of the HO scale chassis and once I was happy with how that all worked then I would uh, cement all the cab sections and the hoods together and uh, get them all lined up so that they would uh, fit perfectly over the chassis. To add some more visual interest to my new locomotive, I added a slightly raised section over the radiator of the long hood, which helped increase some clearance inside for a headlight. From the scrap box came some twin air tanks, a fan hood, an HO scale Southern Pacific style barrel headlights, a sand filler hatch, and exhaust stack assemblies. So yeah, the junk drawer full of old miscellaneous parts really comes in handy if you're an avid scratch builder. 
I made uh, hinges and uh, the access doors along the long hood using styrene and some lengths of uh, styrene angle to look like hinges. And uh, the larger fuel tank was fashioned from an O-scale 50-gallon oil drum cut in half lengthwise and glued into place under the frame. When most of the basic detailing was done, I masked off the uh, cab and the rattle can sprayed the body with plastic compatible indigo navy blues type color. The interior was painted with an industrial green color. Exterior cab details included a small bell and a single chime air horn mounted to the bulkhead of the front of the cab. Headlight bulbs were wired to the DCC decoder and glued into the hollowed out headlight castings on the short and long hoods using Wather's glue. To wrap it up, the critter's yellow road numbers and caution striping on the footboards came from an old Florida East Coast diesel decal sheet that I had in my collection for years. I painted the handrails yellow uh, as per the prototype photo. And after the decals were set and the paint was all dry, I did some weathering using various washes of gray, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and dark blue oils and enamel paints that I thinned with mineral spirits. Final dusting of colored weathering chalks accented my new locomotive. And to finish it off and seal everything up, I gave the body a light coat of Tester's Dull Coat flat finish lacquer. So it was a pretty easy project. The hardest part of the whole thing was uh, designing the long and short hoods in the cab section to fit over the existing HO scale power chassis. Other than that, it was uh, an awesome and fun build. I'm really happy how the chunky wide door diesel critter turned out, even though it's not an exact replica of a GE 45 ton. Uh, it it kind of has that folk art feel that I really love, and I think that's what's so appealing to Owen 30 modeling. And in the future, as I said, I plan to add DCC sound system and you know, that'll really help bring this locomotive to life. In the meantime, it's out battling the mosquitoes in the swampy cypress woods of southern Louisiana. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you from for watching and taking the time out of your busy schedules to help be a part of the Mosquito Creek Lumber Company, Owen 30. Swamp Logging Railroad. Until next time, take care and keep swatting those skeeters.